And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Monday morning shows a big area of IFR here over the eastern Bering Sea into the west coast there northward across the Seward Peninsula. Another pretty good area up there for the north slope in the Arctic coast. Solid VFR over the interior. Narrow band of IFR along and just east of the western Alaska range down across Kamashak Bay and the east side of Kodiak Island up across the northern Gulf of Alaska there and right along the north coast of the Panhandle, otherwise marginal VFR for the afternoon. A narrower band of IFR now along the southwest coast so here from the St. Lawrence Island area down into Bristol Bay and uh, into southwest Kodiak Island, VFR, Alaska Peninsula and the Aleutians, <coughs> excuse me, and areas of VFR with uh, areas of IFR over the interior areas and IFR still along the North Gulf Coast into Prince William Sound and now into the northern panhandle, Lincoln Canal Glacier Bay up toward the passes, marginal VFR down toward Dixon entrance. And for Tuesday morning, not much change, uh, still IFR here over the western part of the state down into Bristol Bay and up across the Seward Peninsula area with uh, lower conditions northeastward there with some marginal VFR and IFR that becomes just mostly IFR from the Central Brooks Range out to the eastern Beaufort Sea coast. Generally VFR here for the central and eastern interior with lower conditions along the Alaska Range and still IFR for the North Gulf Coast, uh, Prince William Sound and the eastern half of the Kenai Peninsula with marginal VFR for the southeast coast. And no change to the panhandle for Tuesday afternoon from the morning hours. Less IFR for the North Gulf Coast here and still pretty good conditions in the interior, especially the uh, central and eastern interior. Down into the Copper River Basin, a lot of VFR. Some of that down into the uh, Susitna, Manuska Valley, Cook Inlet area. Alaska Range across the Kuskokwim Valley into the Kuskokwim Mountains there, down into the Southwest Mountains, looking uh, IFR and a narrow band of lower conditions here extending from uh, Arctic Village southwest into Norton Sound, covering the southern Seward Peninsula with VFR and the northern Seward Peninsula, as well as the north northwest coast, and some IFR here around the Pribilof Islands and the Bering Sea, but notice the uh, VFR flying conditions from Amchitka Island all the way up into Bristol Bay and Kodiak Island. Passes, Anatuvik, IFR, Training toward marginal VFR into the afternoon. Improving trend also in the forecast for adding and pass as well. Lake Clark and Merrill, mostly IFR throughout the day for your Monday and rainy IFR as well. Windy, marginal VFR, and then IFR for Isabel heading over toward Mentasta. We're looking at VFR flying there as well. I think I said VFR for Isabel. Anyway, VFR for Isabel and VFR for Mentasta. Tanita starting out possibly marginal, then becoming VFR in the afternoon. And moving down to Portage, marginal VFR with IFR at times possible for the eastern entrance. Chilkoot and White, uh, IFR. <coughs> and for the freezing levels here, uh, 2,000 feet up into the Gulf of Alaska, cutting across the southeast coast with at the surface here just south of the Alaska Peninsula and the Aleutians. And for, uh, let's see, icing, <laughs> uh, quite an area there of considerable moderate rime icing over the north central interior right on out to the Arctic coast. And a lot of uh, icing potential here over interior Alaska, uh, northern Bering Sea, all along the north Gulf Coast in toward the southeast coast. And for the jet stream, low pressure here over the Bering Sea producing uh, 50 to 60 knot winds around that center, light over the interior. And uh, south winds now about 70 knots there around the northern Panhandle area, Skagway, and right along the border up to 85 knots from the south. 9,000 foot winds, 40 knots into the North Gulf Coast, light for the southeast coast. And with this low dropping southward out of the Russian Far East here, we've got uh, 40 to 45 knot winds blowing around that center as it drops southward. 
And then for 3,000 feet, uh, pretty good uh, northeast winds here, 50 to 75 knots on the north side of this southward moving low center. Otherwise, northerlies of 40 knots and then uh, 35 knot winds there on the uh, southwest quadrant of that feature. Turbulence wise, considerable moderate turbulence here for the western Arctic coast, western Brooks Range and near Kivalina all the way up uh, to probably Wayne right there improving as you head south. Pretty smooth conditions expected over interior Alaska, Bering Sea, Aleutians, and the Panhandle.